According to a new memo released by the House Oversight Committee, President Biden received $40,000 in laundered funds from Chinese government-linked CEFC China Energy. The 2017 transfer from first brother James Biden and his wife Sarah to the future president allegedly involves the same business deal in which Joe Biden was called big guy and penciled in for a 10 percent cut. And let's not forget, earlier this month, the Oversight Committee also revealed that James Biden paid Joe Biden, his brother, $2,200,000 on March 1st, 2018, the same day that James received a $200,000 transfer from troubled rural hospital company AmeriCorps by pledging to use his political connections to secure a Middle East. Eastern investor. Here now to update us on the latest Biden family corruption evidence is House Oversight Committee Chairman, Kentucky Congressman James Comer. Chairman, really good to have you on. Chairman, I think uh, I've been seeing this. I saw the 200,000. I mean, it's it's so obviously linked to the 40,000. But, sir, I think you're here to break some news. You're going to subpoena Biden's. Tell us a little bit more. And who are you going to subpoena and when? Well, we're obviously we've been trying to accumulate all the bank records. Uh, this has taken a long time. Obviously, the Biden families have, have fought us. Uh, but we built a case that will win in court, and we've made it all the way to the personal bank records of the Bidens. Now we can trace the money. We can trace the money that Joe Biden got, the two checks, back to two influence peddling schemes. First, the AmeriCorps, where Jim Biden influence peddled the str- uh, struggling healthcare company by saying that Joe could help him raise capital in the Middle East. And then with the $40,000 check, which came from CEFC, uh, which was the deal that that Joe was going to be 10 percent on uh, with the Chinese Communist Party. So now that we can trace the money, uh, we have enough bank records that we can bring the Bidens in. So we're preparing everything now uh, to be able to uh, serve them and and, uh, try to bring them in. We've got a couple of more bank statements that need to come in first. But uh, when, when that all comes in, it should be in, in the matter of days, then I think the, uh, the American people who want to see this family held accountable, I think they're going to be very satisfied with the next step. So, so we're talking James Biden, Sarah, his wife, uh, Hunter, Joe? Well, that one will be probably left for uh, the, uh, any type of uh, potential impeachment hearing. But with respect to the Biden family, remember, there, there are nine of these family members that have received funds from the influence peddling scheme. So obviously, uh, we want to know what exactly the family did to receive the money. And, you know, I hate to involve grandkids and, and uh, family members like that, that probably had no idea money was going into their account. But unfortunately, because of their, the misbehavior of their, of their family, Money did go into their cups. So we want to know what they knew Chair, about Chairman, it and when. Chairman, Chairman you, it, it's amazing. It's, I, I'm, I'm thinking of Hunter Biden saying he can't afford his, his you know, taking care of a mm-hmm. child that he fathered with some. And, and I'm seeing these numbers. They're massive numbers. Yep. Uh, did Hunter, did the Biden family make, how much money, if you're going to put a number on, just I'm not holding you to it, but ballpark, what do you think yep. they took in? I think they netted. $20 million. Now, remember, if you or I made $20 million, we would have to pay at least $8 million of that in taxes. They didn't pay a penny in tax, not a penny. So that was money they netted, they stuck in their pocket, and they blew it. I can tell you from the having the personal bank records of the family members, they blew through millions of dollars. Now, they lived the biggest can- lifestyle ever, but but they, they completely spent it on drugs, on... Uh, luxurious homes on cars they couldn't afford, homes they couldn't maintain, but they they accumulated a lot of money tax-free. 